Will you still love me tomorrow? So I want to talk about forgiveness and why I don't think it's necessary to forgive people in order to heal yourself. A little backstory, I follow a bunch of like psychologists and a bunch of spiritual people on Instagram because I want my Instagram feed not to be full of shit. Like a lot of people say that their Instagram feed is like full of shit and full of naked women is because that's what they watch. So if, if let's say you're dating a guy and his feed only has naked women, it's not because it's only Instagram, it's because he's looking at those those posts. Just saying, because my feed is not full of naked men. Hang on. So you know what, the, cam the lighting is shit, the camera is, but whatever, we're gonna ignore it, we're gonna continue with this video because uh, we wanna talk about this. Yeah, so I follow a bunch of psychologists and a bunch of like people who work on self-improvement or who talk about life, who talk about nature, natural medicine, like these kind of things that I'm personally interested in. So there was a girl who's Indian and she has a very, very interesting um, Instagram channel where she basically talks about like Indian people, Indian society, and she analyzes what's going on from a psychological perspective. So she had a video, she broke down why they may be doing some of the things that women do, let's say the toxic behaviors, and she connected it to the childhood. And I thought it was a very interesting video. Like, mainly I could see what she was talking about. So I DM'd her and I was like, well, you know, what do you think a person needs to do in order to improve on this? Because I'm a very problem solving oriented person. Like I try not to spend too much time complaining or dwelling on something because I know that's only gonna like, I'm only gonna manifest it more. I'm only gonna get stuck in the mud. So if there is a problem, there should be a solution. There's always a solution. If there's not a solution, then why are we talking about the problem over and over again? right so anyways um i was talking to her about um, this and i was asking her what do you think the solution is for someone who's in the situation and she gave me a very good answer but what she said in the end really baffled me and i hate when people say this she said that a person that has these a person that has these toxic behaviors and that has been hurt in their childhood the first thing they should do is they should forgive their parents and i disagree i don't think every child should forgive their parents because you know why some parents are really horrible in life you'll get hurt forget parents parents are special they're unique they gave birth to us whatever or mothers gave birth to us, like they're a bit special. But let's say a child is beaten every day. There are children who get beaten every day. There are children who get R-A-P-E-D by their parents. Do you think that child should forgive their parent in order to move on and heal? No. If that child forgives their parents for what they have done to them and just be like, okay, you know what? It's my parents, so I'm gonna forgive it. That child is like ignoring its own pain. So I don't think you should forgive people just because or in order to heal. In fact, I think it's healthy to be like, you know what? I hate you. F you. You don't deserve me. You shouldn't be in my life. I will never forgive you. Fuck off. I think that's better because you're being like, yeah, I don't like you. I don't want you. I will never forgive you. Get lost. Why are we like in society being like, you should be the bigger person, you should forgive, you should be nice, like, no, like, that's, that, that makes no sense, you should be nice, you should be the bigger person, but you don't have to forgive people who are full of shit, or forgive people who hurt you, like, you should forgive the good people in your life that make a genuine mistake, and if that genuine mistake is like if you're able to deal with it and this person asks for forgiveness and they're like you know what i'm gonna make it up to you and they do x y and z to show you that listen my heart loves your heart that's someone that you can forgive if you feel like it if you're healthy if you're like okay you know what yeah okay i'm gonna forgive you because you also don't want to be the person that can never forgive but like i said if someone makes a genuine mistake because you forgive mistakes right that's what you should forgive you shouldn't forgive 
if someone purposely tries, tries to harm you or tries to ruin your life, that's nothing you can forgive. Forgiveness is for genuine mistakes, right? So if someone makes a genuine mistake, of course, you should be able to forgive them. If you have enough love for them and they have enough love for you, you should recognize that and forgive the person. However, that's not usually how it is. And that's not usually um, what happens. A lot of the times we uh, forgive people who don't deserve our forgiveness and we keep people in our lives that don't deserve to be there. For example, let's say you have a friend that uh, tries to sabotage your life and always tries to um, ruin things for you, hurts you, says mean things to you. She's doing this on purpose. Why would you forgive someone like that? Do you not have enough self-respect for yourself that you're going to keep someone like that in your life? Make it make sense. And also, why is it like, why is it pressure on the victim to forgive the bad guy? Like, why is it like, yeah, you have to forgive people. Everyone makes mistakes. You should be understanding. But like, dude, I am the victim. Like, you're the person that has been hurt. Why, why is everyone telling you to forgive? Like, dude, you're the one that's been, like, hurt. Like, you know, it's like this pressure for people to forgive. But it's like, dude, why are you putting pressure on the person that's already been hurt? That's already been done wrong to? Like, why would you do that? Does that make any sense? Or, like, are people, like, genuinely retarded? Like, why is it, like, we have to always protect the bad guy? Because I feel like it's this thing that like nice people are so weak that they just make up with these stupid rules and then they affect other nice people to be weak with them and this is like forgiving someone that's bad that doesn't genuinely mean that they're sorry or that you don't want to forgive that's a weak move you're not strong because you cannot hold your ground you're not strong you cannot hold your ground period and let me explain why you there like you i talked about this in the previous video but you as a person you're not just you there are layers to you there are different let's say dimensions to you or well, not dimensions i feel like that's too much but like there are different parts of you there are different people in you so there's one like me this is me i have my brain and then you have your heart right and your heart is the emotional part your heart never harms anyone. Your heart doesn't think evil. Your heart is like this, you know, full of love and full of emotions and full of feelings, let's say. Let's give an example. You're in a relationship, okay? The man that you're with, let's say he cheats on you and uh, or he swears at you. He calls you names um, and um, he cheats on you. Now, a lot of people say that like men cannot control themselves. Let me tell you that like most of the people in the army are men and they're able to control themselves and they go through vigorous trainings. Okay, they do all these difficult things where they control themselves and they become super, super like because they want to. So it's not about controlling, it's about wanting. Yeah. So anyways, let's say this man does all these things for you. I mean, he, uh, not for you, to you. He cheats on you, he swears to you, or maybe he hits you, whatever. Your logical, if you now like forgive him and you're like, okay, you know what? It's okay, baby, whatever the fuck you say. You're like, oh, it's okay, he, I love you. I know you love me. No, he doesn't love you. But you're like, oh, it's okay, he loves me. <laughs> you're ignoring your heart. You're abandoning your heart. You're like saying to your heart, fuck you. I don't care that you're hurt. I'm going to forgive him because that's the right thing to do. Your heart is hurt. He literally punched your heart. He stabbed your heart with the knife. And you cannot even protect your own heart because you're a fucking pussy. You cannot protect your own heart. And you're like, oh, I don't care. I'm going to forgive me. Like, what the fuck? Are you dumb? <sighs> if you watch this video and you get hurt, like... Please understand, this video might not be for you. I'm not directing this video to anyone, but it's the truth. I'm just telling you the truth as it, as it is, okay? So 
it's like kind of pathetic when you forgive someone just for the sake of forgiving and just to pretend like you're a good person but you're not a good person because you're saying fuck you to your own heart you're not protecting this little guy you're not protecting the love that this heart has for you and for that other person it's like you know it's kind of like you're abandoning the eight-year-old version of yourself Imagine the eight-year-old version of you that's like, one day I'm going to be loved and I'm going to have this and I'm going to have that. And this person hurts that person. And you're like, I don't care about me. I just want to forgive this person because I want to be with them. <laughs> that's not the strongest thing to do. And I know it's not easy to be strong. Like, I'm not judging anyone that like just forgives people or aren't strong enough to fight their own battles i'm not saying that like i know it's hard i know it's hard to um stand up for yourself it's not easy not everyone is like that not everyone can stand up for themselves but you should try to and that's what i'm telling you like at least acknowledge that um what people tell you that you need to forgive everyone uh, or you should forgive the people that hurt you. That's the only way to move on. I'm telling you, that's not the case, honey. Like, and this is not, even though I sound angry, maybe, I don't know. I haven't watched this video, but I might sound angry. Or I might so sound harsh. It's not because I'm trying to hurt you. It's just because like, it's the truth, you know? And I, I feel like if I bullshit, then that's the bad thing. Like, cause I hate people who lie and bullshit. Like, just say it as it is. Like, you know, if someone hurts you and you don't want to forgive them, then don't. And that is healing because you're acknowledging how you feel. You're, you're accepting your emotions. Healing is not like being this perfect person who forgives everyone, who says the right things, who feels the right things. You know, like a lot of people think that when you get matured and you become healed, you're this perfect Gandhi or Mother Teresa. But that's not the case, you know one very important aspect of healing and of loving yourself is you actually accept how you feel you know you see yourself in the mirror without a filter and maybe when you remove the filter you see that it says i will not forgive people who hurt me truly and badly and that's absolutely correct and that's how it should be because guess what not everyone deserves a forgiveness if you look at like slavery for example do you think they should be like, oh, I forgive them? No, they shouldn't. They should, like, you're allowed to feel hate towards someone. Like, you're allowed to be like, no, I will never forgive you because of what you've done. And now I'm going to move on with my life and make a good world for myself. But I'm still not going to forgive you. And remember, when I say that you shouldn't forgive everyone, I don't mean be angry the whole time or live in resentment. Because when you forgive someone, it means you let it go it's okay that's what it means if i forgive you it means it's okay and some things are just never going to be okay there are certain things in this world that will never be okay and that do not deserve forgiveness and if you forgive bad people you're teaching them that it's okay to be bad so you need to be strong and you need to not forgive people who are terrible people who do bad things and you need to teach them a lesson and be like you know what no this is not okay you cannot do this to me and that's how you will help other people because then this bad person maybe they will not um have the balls to do this again you know because bad people it's not like they just wake up one day and they become super bad it's like they have done small things and then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger so that's why when something bad happens or some person is terrible you need to be like you know what no you cannot do this and i'm gonna teach you i'm not saying beat them up but i'm saying like like you can verbally be like no if you do this i'm gonna remove you from my life this is not okay do you understand <sighs> so that's it um that's what i want to talk about you don't actually have to forgive people to heal you have to um in so let me tell you this let me tell so what do you need to do then okay because i've been like going on this rant this is so tasty but anyways and it's zero calories <laughs> So what should you do? I don't have all the answers, but this is what I think you should do. If someone hurts you, see it like they stabbed your heart. Okay, they hurt your heart. Now, um, instead of ignoring that you're bleeding in your heart and forgiving them, you can be honest and say, I do not forgive you. 
I'm going to remove you from my life because of what you've done. You don't have a place in my heart. You don't have a place in my life. Your brain should make that decision for you and for your heart. Then you look at your heart and you see that it's bleeding. So you fix that. You focus on yourself. You heal yourself. Instead of like forgiving them and acting like everything's okay, you accept that you will not forgive them. You throw them out of your life. Bye, Felicia. And you take care of yourself because you are the one who's hurt. You're the victim. So you should take care of yourself and love yourself like you would love a child or like you would love your pet and like you would love your best friend or your parents or your siblings. Like, why is it that we show so much love to others, but not enough to ourselves? Like, I don't get it. It's like very sad. Uh, so that's what I wanted to say. It's okay to hate people. Like, yeah, it's okay to hate people. Like, it's actually okay to not like certain people. Like, you don't have to be like, oh, love. Oh. No, I don't have love in my heart for everyone. And that's why I'm such a happy, positive person is because I protect my heart. You know, like most people I meet that are like forgiving, they're actually not even happy because like they fuck their heart over. You know, it's like you just forgive everyone. You become a, a trash bag. You don't want to be a trash bag. Um, so yeah, and I'm saying this out of love. This is what I've understood because I've really seen this a lot in society where people are always like, be forgiving, be this, <laughs> be positivity and be light. Especially like in the spiritual community. Like if you're like spiritual, if you're into like law of attraction, if you're into like, you know, this whole like healing yourself kind of thing, you're going to see people are going to be like, oh, positive vibes. Life is not all about positive vibes. And um, there's reality and there's truth to things. And a big truth is that sometimes when someone hurts you, uh, the best thing you can do is just kick them out of your life as hard as it may be and never forgive them. Bye. This is my outfit. I'm going to the gym. And yeah, bye. Like you're like the camera. This is my face. The camera is literally here. Oh my God. Like how do people on YouTube do this? Like how do you get like a good setting? Cause I'm over here filming like this, having my double chin exposed. Like, hello. I had a period in my life where I was like drinking a lot of Red Bull. Then I had a period where I just completely stopped drinking. And now I'm at that period when, where I'm like drinking Red Bull all the time. I feel like it goes in periods like. Will you still love me tomorrow?